Red Moon gives me the power to wipe out anyone who's been bathed in its light with the snap of my fingers. Felix Fathom begins his debut as another manipulative and cunning character. He doesn't leave a good impression on his cousin and doesn't make friends with any of the other characters. The nature of his actions remains a mystery for much of the series, and before he fully joins Ladybug and Cat Noir, Felix takes on the role of an anti-hero in the story. However, despite Felix working against others to achieve his goals, he does have moments where his good side shines through. In today's video, we're reviewing times when Felix's good character shined through. Now more than ever, you'll see. How about karate? Are you still practicing? Of course. Initially, Felix struggles to get along with his cousin Adrian. He acts rudely and tries to turn Adrian's friends against him, all for the sake of a good laugh. Felix's bad attitude toward his cousin stems from his compliant behavior, as Felix dislikes many authority figures, especially those like Gabriel, who abuse their power. However, once Felix spends more time with Adrian, he expresses genuine care for his cousin's well-being. Felix wants Adrian to have freedom and be happy. While he recognizes that Adrian can't disobey his father, he takes what opportunities he can to help his cousin while furthering his personal goals. In the episode Risk, Felix desires to get close to Gabriel again. To do so, he trades places with Adrian. Gabriel plans to send Adrian around the world to promote his new perfume. Despite Adrian having no desire to leave his family and friends, Felix notices the perfume's promotion on TV and travels to Paris with a proposition. Adrian is weary upon seeing his cousin again, but Felix claims he's only there to trade places with Adrian, as he is capable of telling Gabriel no. When Adrian agrees to the reckless plan, it allows him to stay in Paris, where he can later rejoin Ladybug and their fellow heroes in a significant fight against Gabriel. It also allowed Felix to obtain the Dog Miraculous and strike a deal with Gabriel, meaning that Felix's plan succeeded while he looked after one of the few family members he cared for. Oh, Natalie, there was a problem with the car, so I walked home, but I forgot my key. That's not how I talk. You're right. You sound even more pathetic. In the episode Felix, Amelie is introduced alongside her son. Amelie is the twin sister to the late Emily, and when she visits the Agrests, it's under the impression of family visiting one another. However, Amelie and Gabriel have strained relations due to the Graham de Vanilli family rings. The pair of matching rings Amelie believes should belong to her due to coming from her side of the family. Gabriel reserves his right to keep them as he and Emily use them as wedding bands. When Gabriel refuses to give back the rings, Felix notices his mother's disappointment and uses it for later. In the meantime, Felix takes over Adrian's appearance and responds cruelly to kind messages sent by Adrian's friends. After causing several akumatizations, being confronted by Ladybug and Cat Noir, and causing trouble, Felix acts remorseful for all his actions. The ruse fools Adrian and Gabriel, and Felix convinces his uncle to give him a handshake. The heartfelt farewells are all a trick, as on the car ride home, Felix offers one of the rings to his mother. Felix only stole the ring to make his mother happy, but Amelie is thrilled to have it back and allows Felix to keep it. My little magician, I can never understand how you always manage to get what you want. Although Amelie is a kind and loving mother, Felix once had an uncaring and cruel father. Colt Fathom wasn't a compassionate parent, and his overbearing nature led Felix to hate authoritative parents. When Felix meets Kagami again in the episode Emotion, he realizes how much her situation resembles his own. He attempts to help her then, but failing to reach an understanding with her, he takes to watching Kagami from afar. In the episode Pretension, Kagami tells her mother that she will no longer have a relationship with Adrian. Tomoe is upset by this information as she believes the two needed to be a couple. In her disappointment, Tomoe states that Kagami isn't ready to make her own choices or make their family proud. Felix eavesdrops on the conversation as Argos by riding on the top of their car. He decides to save Kagami by kidnapping her. His methods were unsound and Kagami disliked getting taken, but it was the only way Felix could think of to have a conversation with her. Their talk is the first time Felix is genuine with someone his age, as he's slightly awkward and shy. The pair reach an understanding and develop mutual feelings for one another. Felix even makes a fake ring to give to Moe, so Kagami may keep her family ring without her mother knowing. You monster! You made everyone I love disappear! Unlike the series' main villains, like Gabriel and Lila, Felix does learn from his mistakes. Due to his harsh childhood, Felix unjustly believes that everyone is out to usurp control over his life. In the episode Emotion, 
This belief causes him to use his recently obtained Peacock Miraculous to tip the scales in his favor, whereas the adults in his cousin's life, such as Gabriel, Tomoe, and even Mayor Bourgeois, abuse their positions of power. Felix attempts to save himself, Adrian, and Kagami from their influence ever again. He infiltrates the Diamond Dance to do so, an event where the elite in society show off their children to the rest of the world. The story arc insinuates that the rich treat their children like jewels and prizes rather than living human beings with their desires. The dance's message is everything Felix stands against, so after making his presence known to Gabriel, he escapes the dance by becoming Argos. With the Peacock Miraculous, he creates the Red Moon, a Senta monster who can make everyone bathed in her light disappear. Felix uses her power to send everyone away, only allowing himself, Adrian, Kagami, and Marinette to remain. Unaware that Marinette is also Ladybug, he begins to panic when he can't find Marinette where he left her. Adrian and Kagami convince him that he's gone too far, and agreeing with them, Felix brings everyone back. Felix leaves before Ladybug can apprehend the Peacock Miraculous, but he renounces the Red Moon. As Senta monsters are living creatures, Felix expresses great remorse when destroying his creation. Additionally, when he returns as Argos, he scarcely uses his power and is more considerate of what those around him may want. I will never allow oh, you to... Oh, I think you will, Uncle. It's time for someone to finally put an end to your endless trying to control people. Throughout the series, Felix makes more enemies than he does friends. His decision to give Gabriel the miraculous within the Miracle Box makes him a blatant adversary to Ladybug and Cat Noir. But he never explains why he would give so much power to an evil man. In the episode Representation, Felix decides to tell Marinette the truth, hoping she can use her powers as Ladybug to help himself, Kagami, and Adrian gain more freedom. In the episode, after Kagami tells him Marinette is Ladybug, Felix lures Marinette to Collège Francois Dupont by pretending to be Adrian. When she arrives at the school, he creates the Senta monster once upon a time to help himself and Kagami tell a story. They tell Marinette about Emily and Amelie, how Felix grew up with an abusive father due to being a Senta monster, and how they may need Marinette's help. These moments are significant as Felix and Adrian are both Senta monsters, which implies Adrian has had limited free will throughout the entire series. It also explains why Felix betrayed the heroes, as he wanted the miraculous that created him to protect himself and future Senta monsters. For once, Felix appears to be more than a misunderstood villain or an anti-hero. He may have committed terrible actions that hurt the heroes and endangered others, but his judgment became clouded by years' worth of bad experiences, while his heart had always been in the right place. Your power is terrible. What would happen if I lost control? Can you forgive me, my friend? My sister. Felix remains one of the most emotionally complex characters in the series. He's experienced many things that make it hard for him to trust, but despite it, he allows people like Kagami and Adrian to take up a significant role in his life, and he continues to help them in return. In future episodes, Felix will finally be capable of reaching his full potential as a hero, a friend, and anything in between. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Or maybe your fear keeps you from seeing a hidden side of him. If I succeed, you get to go back to your school and your super nice friends tomorrow.